Hello and welcome to another wonderful day of distance learning. Um, today we're going to be graphing sine and cosine. So it's just more practice from what we did before. Again, um, we're going to be here in the textbook um, chapter 13.4 and 13.5. Um, so you can get more practice there if you need to to follow along. Okay, um, so um, for your anticipatory set today, I want you to compare and contrast the sine and the cosine using the table here. Um, you can also use your unit circle. Uh, I want to know how the patterns are the same, how they might be different, um, and then you can add to your graphing notebook. So you might want to pause while you add that in. Okay, moving on. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to graph sine and to cosine again, um, and the patterns can actually help us out quite a bit. So I'm going to show you a little bit about that. Um, your classwork for today, um, this assignment from uh, Math Excel should already be done as of now, and then you've got some Khan Academy recommendations that I'd like you to work on um, to wrap up this week. Um, while I do say four three on here, really I probably won't look at them until the sixth. So if you need until the 6th to work on them, you can. Um, here are some notes you might want to add into your notebook um, about sine and cosine. It's got some equations in here that we could use. Um, I'm going to add to those equations here in a little bit as well. Um, so you can always pause this video and get those copied down. All right, I want to use those to help us um, graph this particular equation. I usually start at the end when I'm actually creating a graph using some of my shortcuts. So I have my amplitude here, um, or not my amplitude, I have my midline here as negative one. So what I could do is I could take my marker and I can draw a dotted line across here at negative one. Um, so that tells me that's my midline. Um, and then my amplitude is three, which tells me that I'm going up three from my midline and I'm going down three from my midline. So I can count up one, two, three, and do a dotted line up here. Um, and this just kind of gives me bumpers almost, and one, two, three down here, um, kind of like when you're bowling, just to keep you in your lanes here. Um, and then the next thing that we can see here is that it is a cosine graph. Um, so that tells us that we are starting at either a maximum or a minimum, and since it's not being reflected, we're starting at our, our maximum. Um, so that's one thing that we can add. We can add to our graph that we have a dot right here on our y-intercept at our maximum point. Okay, and then the last thing that we want to take a look at, we want to take a look at our period and our cycles. Um, so this is saying that we are getting half a cycle in between 0 and 2 pi. So we do have that equation, that period, well, let's use a pen instead of a highlighter, um, period equals 2 pi over b. And so then we can copy, dot, flip. So an entire period is 4 pi. So that means that we're not going to be at a full turn by the time we get to 2 pi. Um, we're going to be halfway through. And if I start at the Ferris wheel, halfway through a Ferris wheel is um, at the bottom if I start at the top. Okay, and then my midline halfway in between those. And then I just want to continue that pattern over here. Okay, and then I, I can see... There that is. So we can just kind of fill in over here, amplitude, three, period is four pi. We're not gonna go over phase shifts. Um, if we were in the classroom, I probably would have gone over phase shifts, but I'm not gonna go over those just in the interest of time um, and distance learning. Our vertical shift is down one and our midline is k equals negative one. So there is an example of graphing a cosine function. So let's do another example here. Um, we've got, uh, I usually like to start with that midline, start at the end. Um, so my midline here is negative three. So I can do k equals negative three and my vertical shift is down three. 
and I can um, get my midline down here at negative three and use that as a bumper, okay? And we can look at our amplitude, and our amplitude here is two. Uh, so we can write that in here as two, and then we can highlight that we're going to go up to from that midline, and we're going to go down to from that midline. So now we kind of have our our bumper set. Um, and then the fact that we're using a cosine graph is useful because the fact that we're using a co uh, sorry a sine graph um, tells us that we're going to be starting this at a midline. So here's our midline. Okay, so the next thing that we want to take a look at is our period. Okay, and we can identify that B is 2. So to find our period, period equals 2 pi over B, which in this case is 2. So period equals pi. And again, remember, we're not going to worry about our phase shifts. We're going to do none our phase shifts because we're not worrying about that right now. All right, and so then working on our graph, um, that means that we're going to be all the way back um, to our midline here at pi. So that means that halfway through, we're going to be at our midline thinking about the circle um, because halfway through is that 180 degrees. Um, and then we're going to be at a maximum halfway in between, and we're going to be at a minimum halfway in between there. And then you can just keep up that pattern. And I know that the period is the hardest part of graphing these. Um, so if you have questions, I'm going to ask that you post those with your attendance when you sign in today. Um, and then you can also attest see me in office hours or um, send me a a question, um, an email, and we can get together and talk about it. Um, here's some formulas to know. These are going to come in especially handy for your Khan Academy that you're going to be working on over the next day or two. Um, so you might want to pause the video and copy these down. And these are the Khan Academy modules that I'm going to have you work on. So you can take a picture of that. It's also in the slides. You can come back to it. You can pause the video. Um, they are all going to be uh, assigned in Khan Academy, so you'll find them there, and they are for a grade. Again, if you have questions, post those to the attendance question for today. So hopefully you are able to evaluate graphs of sine and total functions. That means that you can find an amplitude, a period of vertical shift, um, and that you can use patterns to help you make those graphs go all the way through. Um, so your to-do for today, uh, make sure that that math Excel from 13.4 um, is done. That should have been done before today. And then work on the Khan Academy. Also, don't forget to sign in for attendance, okay? Um, I hope that you are doing well. I hope that this is working out for you. Um, if not, I completely understand, but you just need to communicate and we'll figure out what we need to figure out to make it all work. Um, after this lesson, you get a weekend for math and I will see you back here on Google Classroom next week.